Now, even when we do something to please people, which is not wrong to want to please people. It's not wrong at all. I love to please people. And there are times when I will back down from something to keep peace, but it's never anything, it never puts me in a position where in order to do that, I'm disobeying God. I want you to see the fine line of what I'm talking about here today. By all means, please people. Do as much as you can for other people. Serve people. And you don't even have to want to do everything that you do. What you do is you follow your heart, and if it's something you feel like God would have you do, then you do it. But when we do things for other people, we always need to make sure that our motive is right in what we're doing. <laughs> that we're not just doing it to have them think well of us, or so we'll be in some certain group or some certain place of favor. Matthew 6 talks about that plan. I'll just read you a couple of verses. Verse 1, take care not to do your good deeds publicly or before men in order to be seen by them. Otherwise, you won't have any reward waiting for you in heaven. When you give to the poor, don't blow a trumpet as the hypocrites and the synagogues and the streets like to do, that they may be recognized and honored by men. I tell you, they have the reward in full already. When we do things to be seen of men, we're trying to make a favorable impression on them, hoping they will admire and accept us, and that's not what God wants us to do. If I do what I believe that God wants me to do, I can trust him to give me favor with you, and God can make you like me whether you want to or not. See, some of you wonder why you like me. Well, that's it. God's given you no choice. <laughs> 